we interrupt our normal programming in order to bring you this special report from NBC News. Good evening. Astronauts Virgil Grissom, Edward White, and Roger Chaffee have been killed in a flash fire during a rehearsal of the countdown and launch of the Apollo flight they were to have made on the 21st of next month. The accident occurred at Cape Well, Here is a report of uh, sure, it's a risk. And if you make a mistake, you can kill yourself and get killed. If you're scared, you shouldn't be there. You don't have the right stuff. Many years ago, the great British explorer George Mallory, who was to die on Mount Everest, was asked why did he want to climb it. He said because it is there. Anything that is worth doing will usually be difficult to do. Well, space is there, and we're going to climb it. Thank you. How far can we go? How fast can we get there? And who among us are willing to do it? We welcome you to Portland International Raceway in Oregon for today's 200 IndyCar race. And to all of you a very happy Father's Day. All right, now that I have Michael, let's talk about this one. Yeah, that's a nice one. Now, uh, I know you probably wouldn't admit it, but it was Father's Day. You didn't get me a present, so you let me win, right? No, that's what I was right. thinking off the last term. Like, I haven't got him presents, so I guess give him a win. <laughs> <laughs> that was such a bummer of a day. Here comes Michael Andretti. He's in corner number nine, the final corner on the race track. The car is a little slow coming off the corner. He's out of fuel. Here comes the finish line. Who's going to win it? It looks like Mario. Unbelievable! Mario, with the killer instinct, even though it was his son, stayed in the throttle as they came across the stripe. It was that close. Do you want to say anything to your dad right now on national television? Well, happy Father's Day, Dad. That's the story from Victory Lane, and it's all Andretti. It's the closest IndyCar finish in history. Seven hundredths of a second, Mario wins over Michael. <laughs> that was one of my no most dominant races of my career, and uh, ended up not winning. Two Look inches apart. I, at the time, I didn't know who won until they told us. I knew. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I thought I won. But... Okay, you're looking at me, I'm looking at you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> the entire Andretti family, Mario, his two sons, Michael and Jeff, and nephew John, now make their appearance at the head of Gasoline Alley and walk out into the pit area for the first time as the crowd welcomes them to Indy once again. Jeff Andretti is most seriously injured driver. This was a tough one. It was in 1992. As the green flag flies on the 82nd lap of the Indianapolis 500. And look at, oh, and another car in F Mario. This involves Mario Andretti, you see him. I had crashed just before him, actually. I was in the hospital. All of a sudden, news Code three, I think, was it's probably as serious as it gets. Jeff Andretti, Jeff Andretti catches the wall. Now just violently, Boy. violently. Boy, Jeff. And once again, these safety crews who have worked far, far too much today are huddled around another car, and this time it belongs to Jeff Andretti. They iced me up and they put me aside because, uh, you know, again, uh, Jeff was uh, critical. The sport can be very rewarding, but also very cruel, you know. Um, I've seen it all. Well, you can see Jeff Andretti being loaded into the ambulance. You know, the tough thing here, of course, is on Michael Andretti, because... One ray of sunshine, you know, and was there. Michael was leading the race. 11 laps to go in the Indy 500, and Michael is slowing. Michael Andretti is slowing down on the 189th lap, and Michael appears to be done. He drops out with nine laps to go when he's laughing in the lead, so uh, I don't think you want too many of those days, but uh, we survived. Down the front stretch, it's a dream race. Marco Andretti, Hornish, who's going to win at the strike? It's Hornish, oh, Hornish wins, wins. Mario, what is it about the Andretti family? He's a third generation, almost won in his first attempt. What is it about you guys? We just love to drive. We love race cars. That's how it is. We're born to do that, I think. The one thing that I regret more than anything 
I said, my dad never got to see this. Because it goes back to what he loved, what he understood, back to what his life was all about. And um, he felt that, uh, oh gosh, you know, you know, here's my kid, uh, somehow he's got some of the same appreciation finally, you know, something that I understand. Actually, I could say that I've been giving the Andretti family back something that was lost. Do you remember as a kid who was the first great driver you ever heard of? What you thought about what he must be like? How do you picture as a kid uh, your hero? Your hero is, you know, just right next to God, isn't he? It would be the impossible man to really uh, have a conversation with. You keep him up here and he's almost an abstract. But he's real, really, because you feel my life would be full if I could just follow his footsteps. Fai una bruciata, no? Non è una Ferrari. Non to do a burnout, you said it's not a Ferrari, so. Oh, it's interesting. Motorsports fans, thanks for watching. Make sure you hit subscribe before you go for all the latest news and highlights across motorsports.